My name is Liz Clark. I'm 34 years old from Southern California. I started sailing when I was young with my family and um, when I was nine we took a trip to Mexico on our family sailboat. I was really inspired by the natural beauty I saw and all the kind people we met. And I started dreaming about seeing the rest of the world by sailboat one day. That dream really stuck with me all throughout my childhood. And um, I had a map of the world and I drew arrows on it to show where I would sail. And, um, kept that with me all through my youth and after college I ran into a retired professor in my field of environmental studies at UC Santa Barbara and um, we had done some sailing trips before together and we would take some students out every year to the Channel Islands and at that time he was looking for someone to sail his sailboat around the world and after dreaming about that my whole life, it was it just seemed like more than a coincidence that we came together at that time. And so I, of course, said yes, and we launched into almost three years of rebuilding Swell. During that time, I learned a whole bunch of different things that I would need to know about traveling far away from where there'd be people to help me fix things and um, ask questions. And, so I apprenticed with a local rigger and marine mechanic and um, electrician and learned the basics of a whole lot of things that I would need to know out at sea. I definitely had a natural wanderlust and I wanted to surf uncrowded remote waves um, but there was a big part of me that wanted to live a more earth-friendly lifestyle closer to nature and after getting my degree in environmental studies and learning about the massive destruction that we were doing to the planet um, I just, I felt like I was on a train going in the wrong direction and I wanted to get off. Everything from our incessant consumerism to our ridiculous beauty standards and corporate greed, competition and our just wholly unsustainable American lifestyle. Um, I didn't want to participate in that anymore. I think part of me really wanted to change the whole system, but I knew I couldn't and my way of not supporting it was to sail away, in my mind. And uh, so I sailed away, you know, looking for a better way to live and solutions, real solutions to these enormous problems that we can't seem to figure out how to solve. In the first few years, I was just trying to figure out how to sail swell and how to, you know, keep my voyage afloat financially. 
but at the same time I was meeting a lot of different people and observing other cultures and I started realizing that there were so many other ways to live and that maybe success and happiness had more to do with time spent doing what you love versus the number of digits in your bank account. Sailing is really high highs and low lows, but I think it's that polarity that has taught me how to appreciate really simple things and shown me how little I need to be happy. Life is full of mysteries. Like where do we come from and what is the purpose of our At one point in my voyage, I really wanted to prove to myself that I could do everything on my own. And it was so funny because in one way, you know, yes, I proved to myself that I can sail swell on my own and be highly self-sufficient. But the deeper reality was that even if I was alone, I had the support of so many people in so many different ways that I hadn't even imagined. You know, just strangers helping me fix things in the middle of nowhere or generous locals letting me fill up my water jugs, my dad always sending weather reports and just like smiles from children and things like that. All of those were helping me get through it. I needed all of them. So it actually taught me how connected I am to everyone and everything else. The way the universe has seemed to support me through the stream has made me want to be a better person and I think self-awareness became a huge focus and one of the most rewarding parts of my journey so far. I read all kinds of spiritual books and texts and self-help books and every day, every interaction became an experiment of all these things that I was learning. and. Um, all in all, it's helped me develop a certain faith in the inherent goodness um, of the universe and all of that encourages me to just keep listening closely to my heart and keep that connection really strong and, and shape my life, you know, according to what I truly want and, and truly believe. I was up in the Marquesas Islands and during about a year long trip I was trying to do my best to live mostly off of the local environment um, around me and I started eating a ton of whole foods, fruits that I was foraging and fish directly from the sea um, and I just started to feel so 
good, so energetic. And I started to see the connection, the huge connection that we kind of forget about what we eat and how we feel. And it was a huge epiphany to me to stop, you know, I'd cut things out little by little. I, you know, started with um, processed foods and sugars and really started lowering my intake of those things. And wow, I, I just felt so much better. And I also realized that, you know, by not eating processed food and trying to stick to simple whole organic foods, I was also eliminating waste. I was also eliminating energy that it took to ship these things, and it was really a much more sustainable way to eat. And during that time, I was out in these remote places, often without internet or phone reception, and I started taking more time to be fully present. I slowed down and I started sitting in nature and observing and respecting other life forms more as I watched them all just doing their thing and the more I learned about animal agriculture and the fishery declines in our oceans um, I decided to stop eating animals altogether when it was possible and it just felt right for me. I've sailed to so many beautiful and wild places and these unaltered sea and landscapes and star cluttered night skies and rainbows and birds overhead moon rises all of nature's just beautiful surprises fill me up in a way that I I can't explain it's like I see the divine in them and they remind me that I too am part of this wildness, this magic, and I love that. It makes me feel great and it makes me feel free. I just wish people could step into my mind and see what I've seen and show them that the earth's still worth fighting for. Remind them that each breath we take and the food and water that sustain us every day comes directly from our planet. There's nothing more important. Her health is our health. And, but you know, I, I can't beg people to change. I can only lead by example and do my best to do right by the planet and, and live by my truths. But I think that changing our everyday habits can have a huge positive impact on the world. After all this seeking, I've concluded that the process of learning and living by your own truth makes the world better because we all have something unique to offer from our personal journeys. Imagine if we all lived up to our highest potential. I, I think just one person striving for that makes people around them realize that it's possible. You'll fall in love with yourself for doing so, and hopefully along the way, you'll fall in love with the earth that supports you and the strangers that help you. We share this planet and we cannot truly find peace and harmony here until we all help each other rise up and thrive.
I encourage everyone to follow their own truth and find their own truth. And, you know, everyone has their own unique and magical journey. It's just a matter of following your passion and calling and um, taking the risk to go out and, and follow it. But when you do, I think you never regret it and the rewards are infinite and the wonder never stops.